Okay, 3.17, solve that uh, differential equation for psi that we were trying to work with earlier when we were proving sort of the, the minimum uncertainty level for position and momentum. So specifically, the differential equation we're being asked to solve is negative i h bar d by dx minus the expectation value of p multiplied by psi is equal to i times a x minus expectation value of x acting on psi. So this is the differential equation in terms of psi. Let's rearrange this, right? So let's put everything in. Negative i h bar d psi by dx minus expectation p times psi is equal to i a x times psi minus i a expectation x times psi. Let's move all the psi's onto one side and keep the d psi by dx on the other side. Negative i h bar d psi by dx is going to equal i a x psi minus i a expectation x psi plus expectation p psi. Let's divide by negative i h bar d psi by dx is equal to uh, negative a x over h bar times psi, let's see, plus a expectation x over h bar psi minus expectation p over i h bar psi. Is that correct? I believe so? Yes. Yeah, okay. So let's now shove the psi out of this. So d psi by dx is going to equal negative a x over h bar plus a expectation x over h bar minus expectation p over i h bar all multiplied by psi. The next thing we do is we recognize that the expectation value of x and the expectation value of p are both constants as told by this hint over here. So that means that this entire term here is actually just a constant. So in that case, we can rearrange this. d psi by dx is just equal to some arbitrary constant subtracted by ax over h bar. Now, once again, multiplied by psi. Now, this is just the general solution for an exponential equation. So let's just solve it. Psi is going to take on the form of some constant a times the exponential of something, which we'll, we'll call box. That means d psi by dx is per exponential derivation rules a times box prime times the exponential of box again. So that means that box prime is therefore going to equal c minus ax over h bar, right? So in that case, box, if I take the integral, is going to equal cx minus a over 2 h bar x squared. If I then plug this in, well, psi is equal to a exp to cx minus a over 2 h bar x squared. So then in that case, well, let's see. Uh, hang on, I think I'm missing something here. Ah, yeah, C. So let's plug C back in. So I'm going to take this and copy paste it over. So therefore, psi is going to equal A times the exponential of A expectation x over h bar minus expectation p over i h bar multiplied by x minus a over 2 h bar x squared. So at this point, my goal is to somehow massage this into the form that we're supposed to get. So let's see. Uh, back in 5. Point uh, or 3.5.2, we found that the solution that we were given had an exponential of i p uh, or i expectation p over h bar times x. So let's get this term out, right? So per uh, exponential rules, I can turn this into two exponents. Uh, psi is e equal to a e x p of, let's see, let's take a expectation x over h bar x minus a over two h bar x squared. And we're gonna move the other exponent out, e x p, of negative exp expectation p over i h bar x, like this. 
So in that case, well, I can turn this into a positive by moving the i at the top. So let's move the i to the top, remove the negative sign at the bottom. And this term is now good, right? This is what we had uh, at the end of the section 3.5.2. Uh, now our goal is to somehow massage this to what we're supposed to get uh, from, you know, uh, from from the end of that section. So uh, let's analyze uh, what we were supposed to have gotten was psi. Let's actually write this in a different color. So our goal is to massage this into the form of psi is equal to a e to the negative a x minus expectation x squared divided by 2h bar times e to the i expectation p times x divided by h bar. So we have this part. This is good. We're trying to massage this part. So this is a polynomial that's squared. So my first instinct is that we have to somehow complete the square over here in order to massage this polynomial into something that looks more like this. So uh, let's see. Let's let's first take out this factor of a over two h bar. So this is going to be a e x p. Uh, I'm going to take out the a over two h bar, or actually it's a negative a over two h bar. So let's take out negative a over two h bar. This is going to give us x squared at the front, and then at the back, that's going to minus uh, two expectation x like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, whoops, let's not forget to add the x over here. Okay, so at this point, we can just complete the square, right? So if we complete the square, the extra term that comes out on this side can just get absorbed into the a at the front because I can just pull it out as an additional exponential multiplied by something to the power of a constant. So in that case, x squared minus 2 expectation value ooh, x times x uh, plus expectation value x squared, this is going to give me x plus expectation value x squared, or sorry, minus in that case. So in that case, this goes down to a exp negative a over 2 h bar times x minus expectation x squared. And that's exactly what we want because that matches this and we're done with this problem.